Savage Land is a mockumentary horror film written and directed by Phil Guidry, Simon Herbert, and David Whalen. It was shown at Morbido Film Festival on November 1st of 2015. The premise of the film is that the population of a small town near the Arizona-Mexico border is massacred overnight, leaving only one survivor who is convicted for the travesty. However, the suspect's photo reel taken the night of the massacre reveals the horrific truth behind the incident. I'm going to establish this firstly. Savage Land is quite possibly my favorite mockumentary horror film of all time. Trumping the tunnel and perhaps even Lake Mungo, at least in some respects. What makes mockumentaries difficult by nature is the necessity for them to be convincing, and that comes down to even the most minor facets of the film. The way it's edited alone comes under close scrutiny just out of instinct. If the graphics presented in pseudo-news footage are remotely amateur, the whole experience risks falling apart from inauthenticity. This is what makes the aforementioned mockumentary documentaries viable to be held in high regard, and Savage Land complies with those expectations. The editing is nearly perfect, save a few instances where it is a smidge traumatized. These minor slips are primarily visual choices that I just personally think could have been improved to provide a bit more of an authentic documentary look, but I don't know best by any means. Despite these little gripes, the delivery provided by the editing process is strikingly convincing and exceptionally performed, capturing the atmosphere brilliantly to establish what I have to concede is a chilling experience. The soundtrack isn't particularly amazing or anything, but it is perfectly suited to the subject of the film and its presentation. Performances are considerably convincing as well, nearly every actor exercising their character very truthfully and professionally. I was especially a fan of a certain photographer character who was actually played by the creator of Marvel's Wolverine, as it turns out. He unfortunately passed two years after Savage Land was released, and may he rest in peace. The best part about Savage Land is the writing. The story that the film presents is one of the most gripping I've experienced in years, in a manner that only a mockumentary could achieve. The characters are interesting, the plot and the mysteries it both unravels and delivers are wildly fascinating, and all of it is complemented exceptionally by the primary subject of the film, the photos. I refuse to spoil this film any more than I already may have, and so I close with this. If you're a fan of horror, especially found footage or mockumentary horror, I could not recommend Savage Land enough. There's plenty more I'd like to say in praise of this production, but I genuinely encourage you to watch it for yourself and see what you think. Like I said, I do not know best. This is purely just my piece and nothing more. It has skyrocketed to my list of favorite films, and in turn, it is absolutely remaining a wonderful gem in my library.